After yesterday's video where I released a content writing chat GPT update, I decided to experiment with a few more custom GPTs. And in this video, I am releasing the blog topic suggesting custom GPT. Now again, it is pretty in depth. It is pretty in detail. It's not like I'm just whacking these up in five minutes. I'm also not using the GPT creating function. I'm literally just prompt engineering all of this myself. And I guess I can kind of see why people like it and why people want to use it. So I thought I'd make a few more. And if these keep doing well, I'm probably just going to keep releasing them because I kind of enjoy making them, to be honest with you. So this time I, I put as a conversation starter, just write your website in the box to get started. This actually saves um, a generation instead of saying hello and then allowing the custom GPT to say, please give me your website. What we can do instead is we can just give the website immediately. And what that will do is same as yesterday, it will have a quick look at the website and understand what it is. Right. We also, we're going to be giving it a lot of our blog posts and a lot of our collections. So what this does specifically is it takes an already established website and it gives content gaps for that website. So you can use this in two ways. You can use it on your website or you can use it on a competitor's website if your website isn't that big. And if you want to write things that your competitor hasn't written about but fit the niche, then you can do it like this. So what you're going to have to do is go to your sitemap. This works with WordPress. It works with uh, Shopify. It works for both. I'm just going to be using Shopify just because I always use this website as an example. Um, so I've got my collections here and my blogs here. So I'm going to click on sitemap to clipboard. I'm going to click HTTPS and I'm going to press start. It'll say URLs copy to clipboard. So just make sure you have this Chrome extension and then just follow what I just did. And then I'm just going to give it the blog posts. I'm not going to wait for it to say, um, I'm not going to ask it to tell me uh, for that. I'm just going to give it to them, to the custom GPT. I've never done it like this before, but it seems like it has understand, understood that. Perfect. Now, could you share the current categories or collections? So now we'll go to the collection, Shopify, sitemap, click sitemaps, clipboard, click HTTPS, press start, paste that. That gives us all, that gives the custom GPT all of the collections that you have. And then it's hopefully going to start doing some research on Bing to try and find some interesting topics. And you can see we have these suggestions here. So Italian bespoke suiting techniques. We don't have a topic about this actually, and this would be a good blog post. Seasonal Italian menswear guide. I have various um, guides. Oh, that's funny. It's used the ice suit as a... That's actually hilarious. So this does do well on Google. This still gets about 30 clicks per day, I think. I'm not going to show that, but I'm pretty sure it's like... It gets 1 to 50 clicks every single day. Um, and this was written in June 2022. So this is another really good suggestion. And I haven't done this blog post on Two Men, which is... Yeah, it's another good suggestion, which is cool. Uh, Italian men's street style evolution. I've got some articles about streetwear already, um, but this is slightly different because street style and streetwear are two a little bit different things. I look into how Italian street style has evolved, focusing on how contemporary men blend classic Italian luxury brands like Gucci with modern aesthetics to create a unique style that's both sophisticated and on trend. That's an interesting blog post as well. The understated luxury of Italian menswear. Focusing on brands like Brunello Cuccinelli, known as the King of Cashmere. It's not really understated, but... <laughs> this would delve into the world of high-end Italian menswear that emphasizes subtle luxury and understated elegance. Interesting. So, again, this is another article that I haven't written on Two Men, but I have written on an ice suit. Uh, an article about, uh, what's it called? It's like, secret billionaire fashion. So, yeah, I already wrote this article, what is stealth wealth fashion and what are the best brands to hide your wealth? Uh, this, again, gets 1 to 50 clicks even today, and it was written in 2022. Uh, so, again, this is a good suggestion. Focusing on brands like Brunello Cuccinelli, yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, where does it say? Subtle luxury. This is the key term right here, subtle luxury. That would do really, really well as well. Artisanal Italian footwear, highlighting the craftsmanship and design of Italian shoes, particularly focusing on designer collections such as Kiton and Santoni. This content would explore the tradition, craftsmanship, and style that makes Italian shoes a stable in the luxury market. I've kind of already done a lot of those uh, articles. I haven't done like a what is artisanal Italian footwear, which I'm sure would do quite well. Um, so again, a decent suggestion. I'm going to say now give me 20 more. Okay, so if I was looking for informational topics to write about for two men, 
this would be a really, really good suggestion. Okay, sprezzatura. It's a huge niche, and it's something that I've never talked about on two men because I don't, I don't fully. If I just do ice suit sprezzatura, there should be an ice suit article somewhere. Yeah, it's here. Look, this is an article. So this was before I joined uh, the the business. This was <laughs> this was their blog post that they wrote. Uh, I never improved it. I probably should have done. But interestingly, this does get some clicks. It doesn't get many clicks at all because it's a really bad article, as you can tell. But interestingly, I do know that this is a huge, huge topic in the niche. Now, like I said, a lot of these are for, this is information. Okay? So a lot of people are asking me informational, informational, informational. That's mainly why I'm making these GPTs specifically for informational. If I was just doing blog posts for two men normally, as many of you know, right now, my tactic is to try and go for huge keywords and just try and smash it out of the park, basically, with big keywords like sports coats, uh, work jeans, cozy sweaters, comfortable jeans, just top designer brands, best dress pants for work in 2024. This is what I'm doing right now, generally speaking, okay? But if I was doing informational stuff, a lot of these would be really, really good suggestions. So some of these have been repeated from before, like this one, the Renaissance of Italian street style, crafting elegance, a closer look at Italian tailoring techniques. But Italian fashion through the decades, that's a good suggestion. Pit Uomo, Pitti Uomo is a really, really good suggestion. It's something that we did on Ice Suit, but we never did it on Two Men. You know, yearly rundowns of all the fashion shows, et cetera, et cetera, is something that we could have done to get easy traffic, but I just, I could never be bothered, basically. <laughs> just too much effort for me. Bespoke versus ready to wear, understanding Italian suiting options. This is another really, really good idea. This is a, th this probably has like 10,000 searches a month in the US. So it's a huge, huge niche. Italian elegance in casual wear, dressing down stylishly. Dressing stylishly while also being casual is a huge niche that has, you know, 50,000, 100,000 searches every single month. The reason I'm doing this video like this, by the way, is because I'm showing you that, from my knowledge, I know that these are good suggestions. I'm not bothering showing you the proof. You can look up these yourselves on Ahrefs. I would prefer you use Google Ads Keyword Planner. But I know I, I've got three or four years in the Italian fashion industry now writing, so I know what's a good article idea and what isn't. So yeah, predicting the next big trends in Italian menswear could be a good one. Um, I don't know exactly how I would do that article. Italian style on a budget, that's a huge niche, obviously. And then travel in style, packing the Italian way for every destination. <laughs> Interesting. That's uh, traveling in style is a good niche. I don't know about the packing the Italian way. I'll probably change the shape of this article a little bit. But the travel in style is definitely a good article idea. So what it seems to be doing, which is quite interesting, is it seems to be searching for something like niche Italian menswear blog topics 2024. And then it looks for one. So it's, it's just found Vogue now, which is super interesting. And then it seems to be taking the, some ideas from Vogue while also making sure they're not duplicate, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, so again, there's this quiet luxury, which is it's a huge trending topic right now. Quiet luxury is the new way to say um, stealth wealth, which, yeah, it's a way to dress without, you know, big, heavy Gucci brand, uh, brand logos and things like that. So I think this here, Gucci 2024, a glimpse into Italian craftsmanship and innovation. What I could do instead is glimpse into Kiton 2024 because we actually sell Kiton's latest collection on two men. So that'd be a really, really good way to get a lot of traffic here. There are some really, really good ideas for me here. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I do think that a lot of these, they've just taken them from Vogue, uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's taking it from several different websites. It's not just Vogue. Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, no, it's fine. It's loads and loads of different websites. So a lot of these, these this is how you get the big traffic. You talk about a big style trend in 2024. This is kind of what I'm trying to do, but... I'm doing it in a slightly different way. I'm going for like the the specific keywords of the products, whereas these are a bit more broad. Overall, we've got some trending topics here that would bring in a good amount of traffic if we covered these in good detail. I'm happy with the results here, so I'm going to be releasing this video. 
If you're watching up until this point, thank you so much. You're a legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. And peace out.